So what will come in place of question mark in the following expression such that both a less than q and n greater than q and n greater than t are definitely false. I am 100% sure a lot of you have not paid attention on the word false. And that's what you need to work on. Understand the question properly. He wants a less than q and n greater than t to be false. You can comment if you have considered it to be true. I am sure a lot of you have considered this to be true. You, you assume that it should be true. But the question says that these two should be false. These should be definitely false. A should not be greater than Q and N should not be greater than T. That's the question. By putting up what in place of this question mark will these two happen? A should not be less than Q and N should not be greater than T. A should not be less than 2 and it should not be greater than t. Just go by options one by one. What happens? Let's put equal to here. I'm putting option 1. Let's put equal to here. Equal to. What happens? Compare A with Q. A with Q. A greater than R. R greater than N. N is equal to Q. Golden rule number 2 of coded inequalities tells us that A is greater than Q. Between A and Q there are inequalities. Greater, greater, equal. I mean, Q and N can be replaced. So between A and Q, there's only one type of inequality, which is greater than. So definitely A is greater than Q. A is greater than Q. Implies A is not less than Q. Yes or no? We want A not to be less than Q. So the first condition is satisfied by option one. Now check the second condition. We have to compare N with T. Compare N with T. Compare N with T. What do we get? N is equal to Q. Q is equal to H. H is less than T. So N, Q, H, all three are equal. If H is less than T, See, we know that n is equal to h. If h is less than t, n is also less than t. n is less than t, which implies n is not greater than t. Which implies n is not greater. And that's what we want, right? We don't want n to be greater than t. Remember, these are false. These two should be false. a less than q should be false. n greater than t should be false. Should be incorrect. I'm getting a greater than q, which means a less than q is incorrect. I'm getting n less than t, which means n greater than t is incorrect. How is that happening? When I put option 1 equal in place of question mark here so option one is your answer how much time should it take it should take 10 seconds i mean this one should take 10 seconds it may take up to 60 seconds if option five is correct because we'll go option by option right we are supposed to go option by options here i would say we are lucky that option one is correct if option five is correct then let's say into five it should take about 50 seconds not more than that maximum 50 seconds but here the average time is 51 seconds why? Option 1 itself is the answer, right? When you can get in 10 seconds, how are people spending 51 seconds? And why is the accuracy rate only 40%? Definitely, one contribution here is this word false. Many of you did not read the question. I am 100% sure this is what happens. You don't read the question properly and mark some crap there. So you have to be quick in the exam. That does not mean that you will miss out on the basic stuff, right? You have to be fast, but you can't read false as true. You can't misunderstand the question to be something else. Option 1 is the correct answer. Which of the symbols should be placed in the blank spaces from left to right respectively to complete the expression in such a manner that a greater than n, o greater than a and m greater than q are definitely true. So we have to fill the blanks. There are three blanks here. 1, 2 and 3. These blanks have been given to us in the options, right? This is 1, 2, 3 in the same fashion, in the same order. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 and so on, right? 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 3. Right, So we have to place the blanks, uh, fill the blanks in such a way that A should be greater than N, O should be greater than A and M greater than Q are definitely true. These are definitely true. Right. So let's try out. Let's, let's you know, I mean, easiest way to solve it is to kind of uh, try options one after the other. You know, one by one, you can try out the options and then check which option satisfies. The one which satisfies all the three can be taken as a correct answer. Right? Now, first of all, let us focus on this. We want A to be greater than N. We want A to be greater than N. How can you connect A with N? See, A is available here. N is available here and here. Now, how can you connect A with N? Try and understand. You, there are three pieces of, uh, there are four pieces in fact. One, two, three and four. You know, one state expression, second expression, third expression and fourth expression. So we have to club these expressions to get the relationship between A and N. How, how is that possible? See, A is connected to M and B. M is connected to N. M is connected. So I, I think with the help of M, we can connect A with N. With the help of M, we can connect A with N. Right or not? So, so let's do that. What happens? See, look at this piece. We know M less than A. So A greater than M. 
एन एम डैश एन एम डैश एन वेर एबल टू फॉलो आई एम टेकिंग दिस पीस ए इज ग्रेटर देन एम ए इज ग्रेटर देन एम ए ग्रेटर देन एम ए ग्रेटर देन एम एंड एम इज कनेक्टेड टू एन यू हैव टू फिल दैट ब्लैंक You have to fill that blank. We want a to be greater than n. A greater than n should be definitely true. Remember, which blank has come between m and n? Second blank. Don't put the first blank. Put the you know whatever comes between m and n is the second item. Second item of the options. Yeah. Now going by the three golden rules of coded inequalities, you know that there are three golden rules that you have to follow. Just three rules you remember, and you will be able to solve any question from coded inequalities. Right. So going by these three golden rules, rule number two will tell us that. Second blank should be greater than. Second blank should be greater, or it can be greater or equal. The second blank has to be greater. Yes or no? You are able to follow. I am. I am. Explanation would take a little bit of time, but when you are doing it yourself, right, you'll be able to crack it much faster. Right, you'll be able to crack it really quick. Hmm. So a greater than m, a greater than m, m dash n. So what should come in the second blank? Is option one possible? Yes. If you take, if you put greater than here, let me. Sorry, let me just clear this. This one. This should not be read as equal to basically. Yeah. So if you put, if you put greater than, is it possible? A greater than m, m greater than n. Yes, a greater than n. So option one satisfies. Option two also satisfies because option two has also greater than. But can less than come? Can less than come in second blank? No, because if you take less than a and n cannot be compared. Rule number three. Rule number three tells that when you have dissimilar inequalities between the two variables, those two variables cannot be compared. Here we have a definite comparison that a is greater than n. So option three is eliminated because option three has got less than, which is not correct. Option four also gets eliminated because it has got less than, which is not correct. Option five is also possible because a is greater than m. M is equal to n. Option five says second position can be equal to. So a is greater than m and m is equal to n. Which means a greater than n. So one, two, and five are possible. One, two, and five are possible. Yeah. One, two, five are possible. So try with the other part now. O greater than a. Let's try with O greater than a. See, we know that O is equal to b. I think second second uh, expression here is a much easier thing to verify, right? Again, O has to be connected with a. How can you connect O with a? O is connected to b. B is connected to a. Now, since O is equal to B, whatever the relationship between A and B will be the same relationship between A and O. Yes or no? We want O to be greater than A. O is equal to B. Uh, and again, be careful. We are going in the reverse direction. So I'll, I'll do one thing. I'll, I'll take it in the forward direction only, so that we don't get confused, right? A one B is equal to O. What should come in the first blank is the question now. What do we want? We want O to be greater than A. For O to be greater than A, what does it mean? A is less than O. If O is greater than A, A should be less than O. So we want A to be less than O. We want A to be less than O. You are able to follow? O is greater than A implies A should be less than O. When can A be less than O? Only when A is less than B. If A is less than B, B and O are equal, right? These two can be interchanged. So for A to be less than O, A should be less than B. So first blank should have less than. The only possibility for the first blank is less than. A should be less than B. And I think the only option which has got first blank as less is option one. Option two and option five also get eliminated. So luckily, I mean, I think we have wasted our time by checking second blank. If we had checked for first blank, I mean, if we have checked for second expression, we would have been able to eliminate the options even faster. Because I know that first blank should definitely be less than. And the only option where first blank is given as less than is option one. You see, here it is greater. Here it is equal. Here it is equal. Here it is greater. So two, three, four, five are eliminated. Option one is the correct answer. Again, I would say. It is taking so much of time because I'm explaining it to you. I'm writing one, two, three, and all that. But you understand these things mentally, right? So when you do it yourself, you will be able to crack this in about 15 seconds, 15, 20 seconds maximum. So why is it taking 79 seconds? And why is accuracy 48 percentage? 100 percent accuracy in about 20 seconds. I mean, even if you check first expression, then check second expression, it should not take more than 20 seconds. So you see, four times the amount of time required is being spent, and only half of you are able to get the right answer. So be careful; you cannot go wrong in such simple ones. Option one is the correct answer. Option one is the final and the correct.